Welcome guys, today we're going to uh, saddle Sam up, or try to, and we're going to be taught how by a pro that'll be uh, Wynn's brother, twin brother, in fact. And he's going to do some uh, riding for us to demonstrate how it's done. Designed, of course, unfortunately for plantation work. Oh yeah. <laughs> in the south, to move out across the terrain, be able to ride all day without pounding and hurting yourself. Now, cowboys, if, you know, the quarter horse is the is the you know normal horse, the Mustang, the quarter horse. I mean, when it's telling us that uh, 600 horses per year are euthanized on the track and uh, that doesn't include uh, horses that are injured like our horse Nicky who unfortunately was injured but uh, when saved her of course. Oh, I've got it. Oh perfect. You're ahead of me. Oh. The smell of freedom. <laughs> Let me uh, go tell Nick real quick. I, I guess he texted Yeah, and those, you'll see the, hof the horses often uh, bite each other there, but I don't think it's mean. It's almost like they're giving each other a back rub or... Um, they, there's, you know, horses don't have hands, but they're still surprisingly touchy with, uh, not, you know, they have a lot of contact with each other. Now here's the uh, contact info, and uh, you'll find it in the video description as well. The saddle's going to go right here, right? And then it wraps around in a C inch right here, it comes out that side, right up here, okay? Right in this area, right in here. See, all it's also later on into the video, so you'll have a chance to copy it down or take a screenshot or whatever you need to do. So we're going to learn to put the saddle on today, eh? Right, I thought that would be a good... Well, we're going to do it in a therapeutic way with uh, the, the name of the exercise is extended appendages. And so you're going to be the... You're going to decide who's on the right and who's on the left and you'll lock the arm next to each other. So one of you can only use the left arm, the other one can only use the right arm. And then... And then you, the, whatever the left hand, whoever's the left hand, the right hand, the other person has to, or the right brain half, has to tell them what to do. So you can't just grab the blanket or the saddle by yourself. You guys have to tell each other what to do. I think it's a really good exercise. Um, well, I'll be on the left side, you on the right. Okay, does that work for you, Leah? So you'll be on the right hand, on the right side using your right hand. So Leah tells you how to use your right hand, what to do. Oh wait, I'll be on the right, on the right yeah. side using my right hand. No, no. no. I guess right. befuddlement right uh, is my hand. middle You'll name. You'll be on the right side using your right hand, wait. but you're the right, you're the right, you're the right. Okay, you're the right, right hand. using my right hand. You're the right but, hand. Okay. Right. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't think about which side. With, with the brain. Oh, you know, yes. Oh, the hey, right hey, hey. I know, that's me. I'm going to be telling hey. you what to do. Okay. When you guys and you will tell me what to yeah. do. I won't do anything. Oh. Right, and vice versa. You can only do. Yeah, so, you, so that's going to be. And so speak, communicate with each other. Uh, and it, it mirrors the human brain where the left hemisphere drives the right hand. Well, the, the left brain drives the right hand and the right leg and the right face, and the right brain controls the mo muscles on the... It only took me, I don't know, a few years <laughs> of a lot of horse con... I'm sorry, you can just make a loop here. And of course, she's like, okay... It'd be nice if you'd just be in one place for a while. Well, at first he was a little... 
confused, so he raised his head to assess the situation. And then once he realized him as amongst friends, he's like, well, I'm just gonna go back to church. Good. Sam here is 16 hands high, big horse. Okay. Good. So, what's next? That's even on both sides of the city. Yes. You guys well, you communicate. Uh, you can, if, if you need to walk around, tell each other to walk around. Oh. When calls Sam are patient, patience, trainer. Yes. So, talk, you can talk with each other. Okay. Let me move this out of your way so you have less obstacles. Okay, left hand, grab your end to front. In the Western movies, it looks so easy to do, you know? Okay. Now move to your left. Move forward. Okay, now I don't know what to do. Now lift it up. <laughs> Lift it up and let's well, put it on the. Oh, let's put it on the. Bronze. There are things on the side. I see that. Okay. Okay, okay right here. Familiar. So right. With all the bits. Right. Okay, and right. Yeah. you can be sure the man with no name doesn't have this trouble putting his saddle okay. on. Stop. So. Stop. Good. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Good idea, left brain. Okay. <sighs> okay, look at all the bits. Yeah. You touch the bits. Yeah. You see what has to go over the side? That's okay. not that important. Feel down lower. See that feel there? Oh, yes. That's the thing. Go. It has to go over. Oh, this has to yeah, go over. Yeah, so what's the bad idea to do? Like, I'm going <laughs> We've ridden ba uh, oh. bareback Very before good. we have Very good. not yet ridden with a saddle, or at least I haven't. I don't think Leah has either. Okay, uh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, well soon here we'll be taught by a pro, and he's going to demonstrate for us. And put us to shame. So, here we go. Pretty soon. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you can walk around the horse to see if it's centered. Every Thursday afternoon, the Berkmeyer Institute uh, has right. special uh, well, sessions like geared particularly to people with post-traumatic stress, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, and you can look in the description, please, if you would. If you know anyone or you yourself uh, need this kind of help, uh, good, very in the good. description you'll find okay. phone you number and the uh, email address and so forth to contact <laughs> it. And you shouldn't use your left hand, Ron, because you're the right hand, so you, you and Leah can co collaborate on undoing that buckle. Well, that's part of communicating us. Okay. You're well, inventing. Let me lift this up again. Though. Right. Pull the tab up and the wave. Let me help you. Do you get those out of the way it is now? Yeah, well, yeah. That would be a good idea to attach uh, it. We're located okay. in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, so if you're anywhere within driving distance, you are uh, you're in luck. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you're so pretty. Now, let me just 
The one thing, if I may, that's it's like way too far back. So you want the the reason there's more gap here is because you really want it to be able, on the wither. So maybe slide the whole thing further up. Okay. And the main reason I'm telling you that is um, so we're I would trying to help our veterans. And so if you would so that the hair please spread the word. And if you like know anyone who needs this kind yeah. of help for post-traumatic stress. Please uh, do direct them uh, to the Berkmeyer Institute and spread the word, please. And we thank you. And thank you for watching, too. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And I like the right brain, left brain even more than... No, and it works. It's actually more challenging this way because you're telling the other person while you're trying to listen to the other person. It, look, it, it looks so easy when John Wayne does it. Right. Well, also, I've never seen John Wayne actually... Okay, guys, now we're going to see how a professional does writing, it. But I, don't, I, I can't yeah. think of a single movie scene where he's actually putting the saddle on. Here we go. Take the rain, and then we'll just put it over like that, just so it doesn't hang down. And then this one, you can just go over the rail if you want. Or you can just ground, what we call ground so you can just let it go. And here again with the rain, you just want to straighten it out. So that, that when we go to work with him, they'll be lined up, okay? So now he's ready to saddle on this, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so with the horse blanket, you just kind of check, make sure there's uh, nothing in there. You don't want to have a burr under the saddle, right? right? And, um... And you want to have a nice thick pad like this to prevent saddle sores and, uh, and pad the saddle, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of work with the horse. And then check, uh, get in the habit of checking each side, make sure everything's lined up straight. And then when you go to work with the saddle, take everything on the right side and flip it up over like this. They learned that today. By themselves, yeah. By themselves. <laughs> they they figured that, that out. They got that. And then when you put the saddle on, you, you want to kind of line up the saddle kind of fit snug right into the withers. Right behind the withers right there. Um, Leah. Leah, take your hand and put your hand in there. And you'll feel where that is. So oh. see that little hollow, that little depression? And rock, right? Rock. Like you just put your hand in there, feel that little socket in there. That's where you want this part of the saddle to fit in there. Okay. You don't want it too high up on the winter, you don't want it too far back. And you can kind of feel it where it just snugs in there real nice. And then you can just kind of walk around them like that. And uh, something like that, let's see. Flip down, let's see, there we go, like that. Okay, there we go. See, aren't we, I'm glad we came over here. <laughs> okay, and then notice I always pat the horse on the road. I always pat a horse on the road. Now Sam, fortunately, is not a kicker. Yeah. Okay, we got come on back. Okay. And now what we're going to do is this is the latigo. And notice with the latigo, what latigo. I do is I just fold it in half and I tuck this little loop into the D ring right here. Okay, and then it'll stay right there. So what's the latigo for? And this That's is what we're going to put the buckle through. So now we have the cinch coming right here. We're finding out what the and, quality uh, is. This one's really nice. A lady made it for me. It's mohair, so it's real nice and soft. Yeah. And if you go in the mountains, I recommend you get a padded uh, cinch strap, okay? okay. Because uh, when you're going up and down the mountains, it'll be a lot more, uh, you know, uh, friction yeah. moving. Okay, so now we're going to bring this through once, twice. Down like that. Now notice every horse has bad habits. He, his bad habit is he's a head shaker. Mm. So notice I take this ring like this, and then every time if he goes to start bombing his head, which is misbehavior, then I'm gonna just pull on that and say no. Um, um, it calms him. It calms him. Yeah, you know, it, there's a great scene in Gone with the Wind where Rhett Butler takes his horse and buggy. Through Atlanta as it's burning. Mm. And he takes his jacket and puts it over the horse's oh, head. Oh. And horses are extremely visual. I mean they have great hearing too, but they're extremely visual. So what he what he doesn't see won't hurt him. Yeah, oh blinders. Blinders, that's a very good thing. 
Yeah, you know, have you ever seen them on like on too too much a, a, a more, um, more strong buggy or something? They, they use blinders so that they don't get spooked by action. Uh, oh, man. The other thing too that I was going to say is work in different paints. Stop that. Work in different steps. You don't have to do everything at one time. If a horse is real head shy, just work, uh, work little steps. Maybe uh, just uh, get it over his nose, get it over his ears, and then wait, and then and then tie up the toe latch. And but but especially when you're saddling, uh, what I do a lot of times is I, I, I cinch him up a little bit, and then and then I go to something else, like maybe this one. This is the bucking strap, okay? Bucking strap. And really, its purpose is purely for roping. Um, and notice I have at least a big hand there coming down because a horse breathes through his belly. And so you want it, oh. you don't want that real tight. You don't want that real tight. You want a nice and, and mm -hmm. but the purpose is when you rope, let's say we went out and we roped a steer. Oh. Okay. And the steer makes a run out to the end of the rope, it's gonna pull that saddle up and the bucking strap is gonna keep the saddle from coming way up like that. But really that's the only purpose. Okay, hang on now, guys, because we're going to see uh, some riding here very soon. Yeah, you don't need it. Okay, so now we're just going to do a visual check here. We still have to finish this. Just pull that up. What are you doing there? I'm just tightening it up. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay, so, so I tighten it up. And, and you want it snug, but see, I can still get my hand in it. Mm -hmm. But you don't want it too loose, because if you get out on the trail, and this actually happened to our older brother where he didn't tighten it up, and the saddle, he went completely off the side. Right the saddle. So, okay, so now, I bring it up, and then I pop that little you know, buckle thing in there. And then now I'm gonna run the tip of the latigo. I'm gonna use my fingers, I'm gonna push this right through the D-ring, Pull it tight. Okay, see there? But I'm not done. I'm not going to leave it. This is a keeper. These are little keepers. Uh, these are keepers for reins or keepers for latigo. I'm going to bring it through like that. And then there you go. And we're ready. And my stirrups, uh, uh, a guy told me a long time ago, he's a great horseman, he said, run your stirrups long. If you can run them as long as you can, it'll make you a better horseman. Oh, because really you ride with the, the ball of your foot. You really do. You ride with the ball of your foot. And when stuff goes down, like let's say you're doing a, a dead gallop and then you go make a turn, you're actually going to put your weight into uh, the stirrup that you're, you're leaning into the turn. And, uh, and of course, you're going to sit too, but, but yeah. So if you can learn to keep your stirrups long, that'll make you a better It'll be a little bit hard at first because you know we have a tendency when we're first starting to, to kind of tighten it. You know, help me! Right. Right. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. It's scary, right? Okay, so never, never be mean. No, no, never right. be mean, but be firm. Yeah, okay. he's got that brio, you know, he's got that spirit, mm -hmm. and, uh, and yet he's a kind and gentle horse too. He sure is. Nick is our horseman. Videography, Florian Berkmeyer, Dr. Florian Berkmeyer, and the guitar, Ron Talley takes the blame. Hey, please consider subscribing to my channel, will you? Thanks a lot, guys.